Oh, you guys like the intro? I thought you might like that, you know. Um, been out a while since I've done the intro, but what's going on guys, Zephanix here. So today we're talking about the music genre for gaming here. Now I've been a big fan of this since um, well, Rock Band came out. Uh, well, actually before then I used to play Unjam and Lammy. Uh, if you guys remember, who guys who've been with me for a while now, one of my actual um, intros was actually a song from Unjam and Lammy. But anyway, I digress. So today we're going to talk about Rocksmith. Is Rocksmith worthy of getting since Rock Band 3 is already out? Now, before we touch on that, let's touch up on, on Zephanix himself. Because, um, like I said before, I'm a big fan of the music genre. I am a saxophonist. I um, play bass guitar. I also play the drums. So with those three already under my belt, I do like to learn more instruments. But for now, those are the three that I really try to focus on. So you already have games out there such as Rock Band 3. Now, for Rock Band 3, you already have somewhere around 3,000 songs available for download, whether it be through um, actually going and getting the old Rock Band games, Rock Band 1 and 2, and Rock Band, Lego Rock Band rather, taking those, stripping them, and putting them on your hard drive so you can play within Rock Band 3. That's one way you can do it. You can also access Rock Band Network, which is a host of indie songs that you can go ahead and enjoy. And then you also have the Rock Band Store, where you can once again go ahead and purchase rock band songs. So you have three different ways that you can go ahead and get songs from that. Aside from that, with Rock Band 3, they already have multiple instruments such as guitar, um, keyboard, drums, and um, microphone, excuse me. And for those who already know, um, I've already owned multiple instruments already from the Rock Band 3 games, including two guitars, keyboard, drums, and I actually own the Rock Band mic as well. You guys know that not only do I have the Rock Band mic, which you saw in the rap, in the rap video, excuse me, but you also saw uh, an official Rock Band music stand. So yeah, I have a I'm a big fan of it. You know, when you got the mu when you got the not the music stand, but the microphone stand. When you have an actual microphone stand that's from the for the game, you know you kind of is a big fan I'm, I'm just saying but anyway um so that's pretty much it now the thing that they have of course is the pro mode now the pro mode allows you to go ahead and take your regular instruments and actually take it to the next level so um you can take you can go ahead and get uh, a pro compatible guitar for your uh, Rock Band 3 game, and then you can go ahead and play as if you were playing an actual instrument. Same thing with drums, go ahead and get the cymbal extensions, and bang, you're playing actual drums. Keyboard, same thing. You know, of course the keyboard automatically came with Pro, but you know what I mean. Microphone also had a Pro mode into it, but in this time it was actually Harmony, which is actually a lot of fun, because me and my wife actually did Harmony parts for um, Rock Band Beatles, which is a great game too in itself. So, with that being said though, so you can actually get um, two pro compatible guitars for Rock Band 3. That would be the um, the Mustang and the Stratus, okay? Now, with the, um, excuse me, the Squire, excuse me. Now, with the Squire, there was a good and bad to it, and I am bringing this up for a reason. Now, with the Squire, you pl it was a regular guitar. It really was. Same, um, you know, same weight to it, same everything. The problem was, though, was that when you hooked it up, it actually only played the pro songs. So if it only played the pro song, it didn't really work out that well. But what was actually cool about it was you can actually plug it into an amp and actually play the song. So yes, that was definitely a really cool part to do. So it was like two guitars, you know, rather it was two uses in one. It was a regular guitar and it was a game controller. So great. Then you have the Mustang. Now the Mustang was, uh, it was plastic, definitely. It had buttons instead of um, actual strings. And then it had the strings at the bottom. Basically how it did was this. You can go ahead and actually play the string. I'm saying play the buttons and use them as the uh, frets. Um, and then um, you can go ahead and play the strings. I'm sorry, I actually don't remember if they're called frets at the top. Excuse me if I'm saying it wrong. But at any rate, um, yeah, they are frets. <laughs> anyway, so um, it actually worked out. Now, what was actually another thing that was cool about this particular guitar guitar controller, rather, excuse me, guitar controller, is the fact that you can hook it up to your PC or Mac through a um, program, a MIDI program, if you will, such as GarageBand, and you can actually go ahead and play a real guitar. Now, with that being said, you can change the, mu the change the sound effects to whatever you wanted. So you can actually take this same guitar controller, and you can actually be playing bass guitar, um, lead guitar, rhythm guitar, any particular type of guitar that you wanted. So that actually did work out. Now, with that being said, there were some limitations. You couldn't like bend, do string bending techniques on it, so that kind of, you know, whatever. But 
nonetheless, it was definitely a guitar that kind of hit all spectrums. So with that being said, let's talk about Rocksmith now. Now, Rocksmith is pretty much a $59 game. In my opinion, it's a $59 game that allows you to play the pro mode, and that's it. You know, but the thing is that it's only the pro mode on the guitar part. Now, I know I'm talking it down already, but, I mean, to me, the comparison is, is almost obvious. Now, let me put it this way. First of all, you can actually take any guitar that you want as long as it has an, um, a regular output to it, right? You can stick it in to the um, output on the guitar and then plug in the USB other end of it, which is a USB, plug into your system or your PC. Now, that's one of the cool parts. The game is actually coming out for PC, so I might just go ahead and purchase the game just be on a PC just to go ahead and support my platform because I've been wanting uh, the music genre to become more fluent on a PC in a while. Now, yes, Rock Band has definitely been on air, but, I mean, not Rock Band, Guitar Hero has definitely been on a PC, but I've been looking for just a little bit more, you know? So, at any rate, um... Basically, if it works like that, and any guitar can do that, that tells me that it's based off of a sound technology. Basically, that if you're playing a C, it can tell you're playing a C key because of the fact that it is by the sound. Now, with that being said, um, if that's the way it works, then it looks like all the pro instruments from Rock Band 3 will actually work for this particular um, game. Basically, for example, say you wanted to go ahead and hook up the Mustang controller. All you have to do is either A, because uh, it doesn't have a regular input, it actually has a MIDI input. So you might be able to hook up the MIDI input to the USB. If you have a MIDI to USB connector, you may be able to hook it up to the actual game. But if you can't do that, there is a second thing to that. You can actually go ahead and take it and hook it into, let's just say, a Mac, right? And then you can take, which is a USB into your Mac. And then you can go ahead and get a, um, and uh, what do you call that? Uh, a converter, right? For the output of the Mac, for the, um, what do you call it, the headset part, and hook that into, um, excuse me, an output, which, you know, a converter from, you know, what is it, one eighth on the Mac to an actual guitar version of it, and then actually plug that up into the actual system, and then you'll be able to play it like that. I know it's a little bit around the corner there, but I'm just saying that is one way that you can do it, because that's definitely one way that I want to do it, because I actually um, really can't really, to my own opinion, I can't really validate getting. Um, guitar, um, excuse me, Rocksmith with the exception of it's on the PC and I want to support it. So I will get it because of that. But in any other reason, I don't know. So basically, I'm going to my people out there who are, you know, gamers who game on every single game, not just old shooters or anything like that. Musicians out there, uh, especially Cena at Cena's Corner, I really want to know your opinion. Do you think do you think that Rocksmith is a worthwhile game when you already have Rock Band 3 out there already, which has more games, you know, so far more um, pro, you know, more of a set list. I'm just talking about the pro, just kind of make it fair. I'm talking about when it comes down to the songs already, it has more songs already, it has a promo just like that. Is it really worth getting if you already have Rock Band 3? I want to know the answer to that. I'm definitely looking forward to an answer from you, Cena. Everyone else is more than welcome to respond. I am definitely looking forward to hearing every response out there. You guys have a good night. Zeph out.